Fujifilm just unveiled the X-H2S and it comes with its new processor, sensor and other impressive features. So how good is this camera? Watch today's video for our initial review of the Fujifilm X-H2S. X-H2S is the 5th generation APS-C cameras in the X-Series, a successor of the X-T4. It packs the latest X-Tron CMOS 5HS sensor and X-Processor 5. Fujifilm believes tax sensors are the future, so they moved away from backside illuminated sensors and introduced a 5-layered stacked sensor. This new sensor allows the camera to shoot up to 40fps with the e-shutter and 15fps with the mechanical shutter. In addition, when shooting with the e-shutter, you can utilize full autofocus and enjoy a blackout-free shooting experience. The X-H2S also has improved autofocus tracking and subject recognition. However, it seems like Fujifilm split animal tracking between animals and birds. It's a bit confusing as to why they did that. A wildlife photographer might shoot both and not pick days for when to shoot what. As for image stabilization, Fujifilm equipped the camera with 5-axis in-body image stabilization with 7 stops. While that's great, Fujifilm claims the new IBIS system was created to give users a gimbal-free experience. That's some bold claims. Can the camera do that? Only time will tell. Next comes the camera's recording capabilities. The good news is that the camera can record in 6.2K 30fps, 4K at 120fps and HD at 240fps. All of these resolutions are possible thanks to the new processor. However, it's not clear whether you can shoot 6.2K internally or externally. What we can say for sure is that you're going to need that fancy cooling fan if you plan on recording for long hours. Fujifilm packed great recording features in a body made for run and gun, so overheating is obviously an issue. So the next best solution is the cooling fan. How good is it? Well, somewhere around 2 hours of recording time before the camera overheats. Sounds great, but how it performs in a day-to-day -day scenario will be something to see. Let's get the accessories out of the way first. Besides this cooling fan, you can buy a battery grip and we all know what's that for. The other thing is the FTXH file transmitter grip. With this grip, you can connect your Ethernet to the camera, allowing faster transfer speeds. Sports photographers around the globe will absolutely love to have this grip. Back to the camera, the X-H2S supports ProRes 422, H.265 and HEIF shooting modes. It would be sad not to have these in the camera in 2022. The X-H2S is also the first of its kind to get F-Log2 and a gamma mode with 14 stops dynamic range. From these specs, we can say that it's a pretty capable hybrid shooter. But what about storage? Sadly, there's just one slot for a CF Express Type B card. Having two storage slots is always great as one of the two cards acts as a backup. That way, you don't have to worry about losing all your memories if one card fails. In addition, the camera supports 1700 megabytes per second write and 1500 megabytes per second reading speed, so wildlife and sports photographers will love this. You can also remotely control this camera including the zoom, focus, exposure and more, which is a pretty neat feature to have. Now let's talk about the body. The camera weighs 660 grams, a fairly light build. However, despite the lightweight build, it's weather resistant with extensive sealing. According to Fujifilm, the H in X-H2S stands for heavy duty. As for ports, there are USB-C port, separate ports for headphones and microphones and a full-size HDMI port. Gotta love a full-size HDMI port. At the top, you'll find a mode dial and a secondary backlit LCD display, which is nice to have. However, for some reason, they removed the exposure dial. Why? We don't know. Exposure dial is convenient, especially when a second could make or break the shot. Now you have to go and click a bunch to change the settings. Lastly, the X-H2S comes with a price tag of $2,500. So how's the price to value ratio? Well, it's great for an APS-C camera. It has more features than some of the similarly priced cameras, so that's great. That was all about the Fujifilm X-H2S. What do you think? Do you think it's a great purchase based on the specs? Let us know in the comments below and as always, thanks for watching and if you like this video, consider subscribing.